In today's video, we're opening a never before seen third party Yu Gi Oh product. What's up, guys? We are back with another third party Yu Gi Oh opening, and this is one I have never seen before, except when we, of course, when we bought it. This one has not only some packs, but it has a third or a fourth item, a special edition Rise of Destiny box. Gotta move this mic, because it's so big. We have two Ferrani Guardian packs, and then we have a Legacy of Darkness pack. This one was put together by, let's see which of our favorite uh, people made this. Three classic Yu-Gi-Oh packs, one Rise of Destiny, prepare yourself for the ultimate battle with the champion edition box. Leave your opponent in the dust. Who made it? I don't see who made it. Independently packaged by who? Before we hop into it though, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away, well actually Clint, so Clint in the other video gave me a bunch of giveaways. So here's what you guys can win from Clint, so shout him out in the comments. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what do you think about this third party product compared to some of the others we've opened in the past. We've opened a lot of third party old school Yu-Gi-Oh products and they're all a little bit different and a little bit the same, but they always have old packs, so it's super fun. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a great way to save money, eat better, and stress less. No more staring at the fridge wondering what's for dinner. HelloFresh provides you with 45 plus recipes, their biggest menu yet. They even have different types of meals to fit your lifestyle like calorie smart or protein smart. Plus, when you sign up with HelloFresh, you get free dessert for life. HelloFresh is awesome because you have a ton of different options from meat and veggies to veggie, family friendly, fit and wholesome, under 20 minute meals, and pescatarian. So if you're looking for that kind of meal, they have it for you. I'm personally a huge fan of using HelloFresh because it provide some really tasty meals and you don't have to think about going to the store, getting all the ingredients, gathering them up, bringing them back home. They just come right to your doorstep. And my wife is a nurse and she uses HelloFresh to prepare her meals for the upcoming 12 hour shifts that she has back to back to back. That way she has awesome food to eat for those days. And then I can snack some of it as well. And we both really enjoy the food. If this sounds like something you're interested in, then click the link down below and use my code RuxinMay10 to get 10 free meals plus free dessert for life while the subscription is active. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I also have a few other packs we're gonna open real quick because there's only i guess there's six packs in there because of rise of destiny so we're gonna start off we got a couple old a couple newer age of overlords a little new but uh, guess what it has sp little knight qcr so let's see if we can pull that four from the back we have the immortal bushi i would love to pull an sp little knights i mean even the secret would be great but a qcr would be like one of our craziest pulls ever out of one pack just in and okay, we're just gonna get nothing, so that makes sense. Let's open a few more before we get to that third party blister. I'm excited to open it up, or it's not a blister, it's a box. Rise of Destiny is a really fun special edition too, because we could get the Chaos Emperor Dragon, so I really hope we get that as the promo. Uh, Meta Noise, we have Goaty. Suliak, Train, Smashers, Digit Jamming, we have Ruxin special, Tier Limit Sheeran. By the way, if you guys have not, check out Ruxin34.com. I have a lot of items available over there. We have consignments for Clint, who did the giveaway. We have some uh, giveaways, or not giveaways. We have some uh, other cards like that. So other single cards, PSA cards, we have sealed product, we have all kinds of stuff. Go check that out. Go pick something up if you guys would like. It would appreciate it. I'll ship it right to you, straight from Ruxin himself. Go trick shot and another super rare so yeah a lot of stuff available go check it out anything you buy supports the channel so i appreciate you guys doing that and checking it out the website link in, in the description or you can just type in ruxin34.com that's it not that hard it'll go right to it we have over we have a drift changing season expulsion we have a ravenous vendred we have gunk and sue ship and an en wave so we are starting off pretty low but if we save all our good pulls for the third party box i'm gonna be fine with that let's open a pharaoh servant rhyme style said it's not a ruxin video without pulling jinzo we haven't pulled jinzo in a long time i'm not gonna lie we're kind of cold so let's see if we can pull something we have deep sea warrior we have only tank ruxin 34 that's a great pull best pull of the video so far wing weaver steel regrata number two gift of the mystical l attack and receive time seal appropriate and a flame Champion. All right. Nothing crazy there. OTS 22. Can you give us an ultimate rare? I don't know where the foil slash ulti is. So I'm just going to go like this. If this will work, I'm trying not to destroy the destroy it there. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> I spoiled it anyway. Never mind. Okay. So we got a baby raccoon Bonpoco. Just a. Oh, we did get the Titanic Moth. My Titanic Moth. Weevil Underwood has pulled the Titanic Moth. All right. Battles of Chaos. Enough of that. I'm not trying to destroy my throat anymore. Four from the bag. Battles of Chaos. We have Ghost Trick Festival. Let's see if we can get some big. Mist Merdin. We have Maiden. Mosquito. Gridora Faint. Clear New World. Skill Brown Magician. The Doll Monster Bear Bear. And Starlight Rare. Oh, oh, oh. Al Sidey of Lament. Okay. We literally are 0 for 7, I think. This is not a fantastic start. I'm going to try the Spell Ruler pack. Can you give us Blue Eyes Toon Dragon? We recently opened a Magic Ruler first set box on Whatnot. 
That video will be up on YouTube very soon, so keep an eye out for that. That was a very fun opening. We have Penguin, Luminous Spark. Go follow me on Whatnot, by the way. We do have, speaking of Whatnot, Rarity Collection coming up this week. A ton of live streams. So we have Rarity on Whatnot, then we have Rarity Collection completing the full set later this week. The entire set. It's going to be live on YouTube. It's going to be, last time it took 10 hours, I think. Something like that. So it takes a long time. Long live stream. Probably this Friday. Maybe Saturday. I haven't decided which day yet. Maybe Saturday. I don't know yet. One of those two days is going to be super fun. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure you check out the Rarity Collection pre-order down below as well. Giant True Day. We finally got a foil. Let's go. We will take that. Super rare. Very, very nice. Talking about Rarity Collection brought us the luck. So yeah, go check out the pre-order if you guys want to get Rarity Collection yourself from Sassy Auto. It's an affiliate link with me. You get 5% off. Use my code. Very excited about that. Rarity Collection is going to be super fun. It's going to be a really long live stream. Mr. Volcano, that fiery finger. There's a lot we are going to be doing. And then we also have another uh, whatnot stream next week. So keep an eye out for that. It's going to be a big one. Armored Glass. It's I don't think I've announced it yet, so I'm not going to spoil it, but it is a very big one. We're opening a really cool product, so keep an eye out for that. All right, Extreme Victory. Then we go to the third-party product, which is too big to keep on the screen. One, two, three. We got to do the flippity flop, the floppity flip. Let's see what we can get when we rip. Tyrant Stantrum, we have out of the blue. Scrap Kong with his... <laughs> got a chainsaw. It's pretty cool. Ceiling Ceremony. Force Resonator. Red Dragon Base. Clock Resonator. We got the Junk Servant. Used to be a $2 rare. I don't know if it still is. And give us the Ghost Rare. Okay. All right. Mech Lord Astro Dragon Asterisk. I'm pretty sure this is like a 10 cent card. I looked it up the other day. So not a huge super, but a super is a super. I'll take it. A super is a super no matter how small. Three classic packs. One Yu-Gi-Oh special. Let's get this thing open. I'm going to have to open it over here because it's so big. Oh, look. I just got a little sticker right here. I can just cut right through that all right so we have rise of destiny special edition we have three packs let's see if they're glued on i bet they are yep we gotta be careful here okay pull that out for on a guardian wasn't too hard there legacy of darkness that wasn't too bad just a couple of spots and then for on a guardian once again so not the craziest two packs you know for on a guardian lod but they are old school and they have not been reprinted, so that's pretty fun. Okay, let's start off with a Ferrani Guardian. We'll save Rise of Destiny because that has potential Chaos Emperor Dragon inside, which would be really fun. This is still sticky, so I gotta get this thing open. Not put it backwards on the mat, it'll mess it up. Let's get this pack open. I'm gonna throw that away. I usually keep those pack wrappers, but yeah, when it's all sticky like that, I don't want to. Uh, Living Wonder of Mystery, that's pretty classic right there. Metamorphosis, that is a great start to this pack and a Living Wonder of Mystery, so this is a pretty awesome start. It's a great card. We have Servant of Cataclysm, Disturbance Strategy, Gravekeeper's Guard. That's a good card as well. Soul Eat, the Living Wonder of Mystery, Arsenal Bug, Royal Tribute, Des Lacuda. Will we get a foil in our first pack? King Tiger Wang Hu. That's a good one as well. All right, we'll take that. Pretty good rare. Not a bad pack for really not having anything. Let's do Legacy of Darkness next. Let's see what we can get in this third party box. LOD, what have you got for us? One, two, three. Can you give us a secret rare Yada? That'd be pretty amazing. We have the dragon dwelling in the cave. Spirit's Invitation. I invite you to give us the Yada Garasu, which is a spirit monster. Get it? Spirit's Invitation. We're inviting the spirit. We have Twin Headed Wolf. Bubble Crash. Oh no, that's the Yu Gi Oh! Troop Dragon. Feng Xing Mirror. The Patrician of Darkness. And. A faint Plan. There's one more card. Don't worry, there's one more card. I was like, oh, trap. Not great. Okay, Effect Monster. That's good. Lesser Fiend. I would prefer a Greater Fiend, not Machamp Yu-Gi-Oh version. Okay, as long as this monster remains phased up on the field, monsters destroyed by this monster in battle are removed from play instead of being sent to the graveyard. It's not a bad effect. Too bad he's a one tribute, so that's kind of tough. All right, final pack before we get to the Rise of Destiny Special Edition. We have Pharaonic Guardian. Obviously, we've got Metamorphosis. We're also looking for Trap Dust Shoot, Maiden of the Aqua. Book of Moon's a good rare. In terms of foils, I really want to pull Dawn's Luke, my favorite Ultra Rare. Really my favorite foil in the set. Ring of Destruction. I don't know if this is a hobby or retail pack, but probably retail. But we can get the Ring of Destruction. I've pulled so many Lava Golems and never pulled Ring of Destruction. We've probably pulled like six Lava Golems and zero Ring of Destruction. Needle Sailing. Let's go. Come on. Let's just do it right now. Roll Keeper. Pyramid Energy. Bottomless Shifting Sand. Needle Wall. A Cat of Ill Omen. The Omen is Ill. Reasoning. Pretty good go card. Master Kion Shay. And we have this is a zombie. 
Book of Moon, okay. Book of Moon's a decent rare. We'll take it. The original print of Book of Moon, it has since been printed many, 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 many times, but that is the classic version. All right, that leaves us with one final special edition. That's three packs inside. It also has a promo, which we are hoping is the Chaos Emperor Dragon. Let's open this the right way, not rip it open. The right way, really, I mean, ripping it open is the right way, but, you know, we can open it this way as well. Kind of like the starter decks. It's basically shaped like a starter deck, except it has packs inside. All right, I'm not sure which way the... It, we might be revealing it when we flip this over, if it's the Chaos Emperor Dragon. I think there are four different cards. We got a 25% chance. The other ones are like, I think, Vampire Lore. No, wait. No, no, no. This isn't Chaos Emperor Dragon. This is Dark Magician Girl. Chaos Emperor Dragon is the Lost Millennium. I got mixed up. This is even better. Dark Magician Girl potential. Okay, wait. So it's either Diffusion Wave Motion, Dark Magician Girl. I think it's Vampire Lord and uh, Judgment of Anubis are the other two. Because it's the, the way they did it was based off the secrets in the original packs. But so because the, there's four, there's two different set secrets. Okay, let's reveal it. Let's hopefully this isn't the reveal. We'll see. Okay, okay, okay. Get a little bit more suspense. Be the Dark Magician Girl. This would be epic if it was. It's only 20, I mean, 25% chance is not extremely high, but it's also not extremely low. Like, if we get it, it's not like, wow, we got it. It's I mean, it is like, wow, but it's also like, you know, 25% chance. Okay, three packs, first ed, by the way, which is pretty cool. Another cool thing about Rise of Destiny Special Edition, you get Dark Magician Girl, you get first ed packs. I don't know if they're retail or not. We can look at the code and maybe find out. Okay, card's looking pretty clean. That is a good sign. Whew, please, please, it's looking clean. It's looking centered. Be the DMG right now. You know you know what? Oh, is it, is it messed up at the bottom? I was gonna say we'll save it because it looks like a PSA 10. You know what? Save that for the end. Why not? We'll save that Dark Magician Girl potential for the end. Let's do the three packs first. I think a little suspense will be fun. First edition Rise of Destiny. Let's look. I think this might be a retail pack, but even if it is, there's some good retail uh, cards in here. Dekoichi is pretty good. Okay. Mirage Dragon. One, two, three, four, I think, probably on these. Uh, Heavy Mech, that worked. We have Bokoichi. Invasion of Flames. Let's get Dekoichi, Ultimate Rare Mirage. We have Harpy's Hunting Dragon. Hunting ground on his dragon. Raging Flame Sprite. We have Zing Zen Hu, which is a pretty crazy card back in the day. And a team trap as well as a unit. That is not a card I want to see. If I get that in ulti, I'm going to be upset. First edition, Rise of Destiny. Uh, I wouldn't be that upset because it's like it's either that or nothing. So it's like, you know, I'd rather have that than nothing, I guess. But could have been something else. One, two, three, four. Let's see. Mugga Mugga Smackdown. We have Element Saurus. Another Ruxin special. The Creator Incarnate. That could be in here as an Ultra. Woodborg and Pachi. Harpy's Hunting Ground. The Harpy Girl. That's a classic card. That might be the uncensored version. We have Homunculus. Mind Hux looks. Oh, that looks like it's something because they're usually super dark on the foils. Okay, it's a trap. Divine Wrath. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good one. Uh, ulti of this is in the hobby box, so can't get that. But if it was, that's a pretty big one. Divine Wrath, super rare. It's a pretty looking card. Also not a terrible card either. All right, that's not bad at all. Last pack, first edition, Rise of Destiny. Can we get an ulti to end it? And then we'll reveal the final card. Will it be the Dark Magician Girl? I totally thought I was, I was just thinking Chaos Number Dragon. I'm like, wait a second, that's not right. One, two, look at those damage cards at the front. Fortunately, I don't think the foil is if it's a foil. Pitch Dark Warwolf. We have the Fruits of Kazaki Studies. His studies have been fruitful. Harpy Lady 1, Astral Barrier. Nightmare Pink. Wow, that card is destroyed. Holy crap. Uh, same with that one. Homunculus. We have Spell Purification. You too. Mighty Guard. Wow, I think this is the last one. These other ones should be safe. Rare Metal Morph. So it wasn't damage. Oh yeah, it was damage. Okay, that would have been sad if it was an ulti. Leaving us with one final card to reveal. Will the Dark Magician Girl be the Dark Magician Girl? Will it be something else? We have a one in four chance. Here we go. Put your guesses in the comments right now. Do you think it's going to be Dark Magician Girl? Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And check out Ruxin34.com. And of course, that Rarity Collection 2 link down below. Because that's coming up. Very excited. So get excited for that. Bookmark the Whatnot stream. Get ready for the YouTube stream. We're going to be completing the full set. It's going to be amazing. Here we go. Oh, Vampire Lord. All right, cool, cool, cool. Vampire Lord. It did have a dimple down there, so it wasn't going to be a PSA 10 anyway. Uh, but that still would have been really cool. Does that have some foil bleed on it? Yeah, it has a little bit at the top. That's pretty cool. So overall, a very cool opening. I love those third-party products, and maybe we'll open more in the future. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Anessa Dienda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barning, Robert F. Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr., and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.